The Dark Side of Smart Cities Are we sacrificing privacy for progress? As more and more cities across the globe adopt smart city technology, it's important to consider the potential dark side of smart cities. Are we sacrificing our privacy for the sake of progress? Smart city technology is designed to make our lives easier and more efficient. But in order to do so, it collects a large amount of data about our daily habits and activities. This data is then used to make predictions about our future behavior. While this may seem harmless, it raises some serious privacy concerns. Do we really want our every move to be tracked and monitored? What happens to this data once it's collected? How secure is it? These are important questions to consider as we move towards a future that is increasingly reliant on smart city technology. 1. Introduction A smart city is an urban area that uses sensors and other technology to collect data about its infrastructure and inhabitants. 2. The advantages of smart cities Cities can use the data to improve efficiency, reduce costs, and make life better for residents. 3. The disadvantages of smart cities. The data collected can be used to track people's movements and activities, leading to a loss of privacy. 4. The dangers of smart cities. If the data collected is not properly secured, it could be used for identity theft, fraud, or other crimes. 5. The benefits of smart cities. Smart cities can help reduce pollution, improve public safety, and make life more convenient for residents. 1. Introduction. A smart city is an urban area that uses sensors and other technology to collect data about its infrastructure and inhabitants. A smart city is an urban area that uses sensors and other technology to collect data about its infrastructure and inhabitants. The goal of a smart city is to use this data to improve the city's infrastructure and services, and to make the city more livable and efficient. However, there is a dark side to smart cities. The vast amount of data that is collected about city inhabitants can be used to invade their privacy. This data can be used to track people's movements, to profile them, and even to control them. Privacy concerns are not the only downside of smart cities. The technology that is used to collect and store data is expensive and it is often difficult to get city inhabitants to adopt new technologies. Additionally, the data that is collected by smart city systems is often siloed, making it difficult to share and use. Despite the challenges, smart cities are becoming more and more common. Cities around the world are using data to improve their infrastructure and services. But as they do so, they must be careful to protect the privacy of their citizens. 2. The advantages of smart cities. Cities can use the data to improve efficiency, reduce costs, and make life better for residents. For the past few decades, cities have been using technology to become smarter. By installing sensors and gathering data, they can make infrastructure more efficient, cut costs, and improve quality of life for residents. While there are some privacy concerns associated with this, the advantages of smart cities generally outweigh the disadvantages. One of the main advantages of smart cities is that they can use data to improve efficiency. For example, by collecting data on traffic patterns, cities can adjust traffic signals to reduce congestion. This not only saves time for residents, but also reduces emissions from cars idling in traffic. Similarly, data on water usage can help cities detect leaks and reduce wastage. Another advantage of smart cities is that they can use data to reduce costs. For example, by understanding how people use energy, city planners can make more efficient use of resources such as electricity. This not only saves money, but also reduces the city's carbon footprint. In addition, smart cities can use data to identify patterns of crime and deploy police resources more effectively. This can lead to safer streets and lower costs for the justice system. Finally, smart cities can use data to make life better for residents. For example, by understanding how people use public transportation, cities can make improvements to the system. This can make it easier for people to get where they want to go, and improve air quality by reducing the number of cars on the road. In addition, data on noise levels can help cities identify areas where residents are being disturbed by loud noise, and take steps to mitigate it. While there are some privacy concerns associated with smart cities, the advantages generally outweigh the disadvantages. By using data to improve efficiency, reduce costs, and make life better for residents, smart cities are making the world a better place. 3. The disadvantages of smart cities. The data collected can be used to track people's movements and activities, leading to a loss of privacy.
Progress comes at a cost, and with the advent of smart cities, that cost is our privacy. The data collected by smart city infrastructure can be used to track our movements and activities, leading to a loss of privacy. This information can be used by corporations, governments, or other institutions to target ads, sell products, or influence our behavior. In some cases, it can even be used to track our location or identity. While the benefits of smart cities are undeniable, we must be careful not to sacrifice our privacy in the name of progress. 4. The dangers of smart cities. If the data collected is not properly secured, it could be used for identity theft, fraud, or other crimes. A smart city is an urban area that uses technology to collect data about its citizens in order to manage its resources more efficiently. The problem is that if this data is not properly secured, it could be used for identity theft, fraud, or other crimes. For example, many smart city initiatives involve the use of surveillance cameras. These cameras can be used to monitor traffic patterns and help to prevent accidents. However, they can also be used to track the movements of individual citizens. If the data from these cameras is not properly secured, it could be used for criminal purposes. Similarly, smart city initiatives often involve the use of sensors to collect data about the environment. This data can be used to help improve air quality or to monitor for fires. However, if the data is not properly secured, it could be used to target specific individuals or locations. The bottom line is that while smart city initiatives can have many benefits, they also come with some risks. It is important to make sure that the data collected by these initiatives is properly secured to prevent it from being used for criminal purposes. 5. The Benefits of Smart Cities Smart cities can help reduce pollution, improve public safety, and make life more convenient for residents. As the world becomes more and more urbanized, the need for efficient and sustainable city planning has never been greater. Smart cities offer a potential solution to many of the challenges that face modern cities, including pollution, traffic congestion, and crime. One of the most appealing aspects of smart city technology is its potential to help reduce pollution. By better monitoring and managing traffic flow, smart city systems can help reduce emissions from vehicles. Additionally, Smart city infrastructure can enable the use of renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power. Public safety is another area where smart cities can offer significant improvements. By collecting and analyzing data from a variety of sources, including CCTV cameras, police reports, and social media, city officials can gain a better understanding of crime hotspots and take steps to prevent crime before it happens. Finally, Smart city technology can make life more convenient for residents by improving the efficiency of city services. For example, smart parking systems can help drivers quickly find available parking spaces, and smart waste management systems can help ensure that trash is picked up on time. While there are some concerns about privacy and data security, the potential benefits of smart city technology far outweigh the risks. By making cities more efficient and sustainable, Smart city technology can help improve the quality of life for millions of people around the world. Overall, the article does a good job of discussing the potential trade-offs between privacy and progress in the development of smart cities. It's important to consider both the potential risks and benefits of these new technologies before implementing them on a large scale. While smart cities have the potential to improve our quality of life in many ways, we need to be careful not to sacrifice our privacy in the process.